This pack has a variety of floral hand-drawn pieces. I drew each of these pieces because from a personal aesthetic, these are things that I would use in my artwork. It's meant to be antiqued. They're fantastic for backdrops. And there also is a subtexture in each one of these images. So it's not just the florals, but we've added canvas textures, we've added paint textures. If we look at this first image, I've used soil. So I've used soft light, kept my opacity the same, and I've put a mask on. So I'll turn the mask off and show you. The before and after, you can see it's made quite a drastic change. It's darkened the entire image, added a lot of texture in the background, a lot of texture over her dress. It's drastically changed the hue of her dress and just created a more vintage, antiqued looking image. With this next image, we've gone a little more intense. I've used two textures. I've used sunflower and rose. With sunflower, I put it on overlay blending mode and I dropped my opacity down to 15%, so quite low. I've also added a mask. And with rose, I have it on multiply blending mode, also decreased opacity and added a mask on. So I will just show you what it looks like without the masks. So again, a lot of texture over her face. and then without the textures on top. Now you can see that it's added some texture into the background. It's created a bit of a color shift, just something to add a little boost to the aesthetic of your image. The nice thing with these textures is that they're very organic. So there's lots of natural shapes um, because with this image we have lots of plants and greenery going on, it really helps to accentuate the fact that this is a natural image. And also with the colorations, we're really highlighting the yellows, she's outside, and also the pinks and the, the really beautiful colors in her face. So this has been a look at the floral pack. These are hand-drawn images intended to give you a beautiful backdrop, the ability to add organic textures and looks into your image. I'm really excited for these. I'm really excited to see what you guys do with them and I uh, can't wait to see what you share in the Facebook community.